Marcus Oliver, light heavyweight contender, excellent win tonight of Ryan Korn. Uh, describe the fight in your eyes. Tell me what it was like up being up there. Well, um, first couple of rounds, I could uh, tell that he was uh, scared of my power. Okay. And I kept hitting him with the jab. And, uh, and for me, it was just a matter of time to catch him with a good punch. Okay. So, but either it didn't come until the, the 10th round. I didn't expect it to go that far. But. Okay. When you feel you had the edge on him early, did you still want to pace yourself and make sure you didn't get over anxious and walk into yeah, a mistake? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. You know, because it's my first time fighting in Vegas. And I didn't know the, you know the climate change and stuff. So, or the altitude, I mean. So. I didn't throw my punches like a lot of people wanted wanted me to until the, about the 11th round. That's when I started throwing them, okay. and that's when I ended up getting my day. What was that moment like where you really broke him down? You saw him down. The fight was waved off. How it was exhilarating! Good. It was like a, a breath of fresh air because I knew I had it. Okay. And I knew the, a couple more punches, and it had to be accurate. I just didn't want to go out and throw them. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know? Can you tell viewers a little bit about your history, your, your upbringing, how you got into boxing and everything? Um, I've been boxing since I was seven. You know, I got over 230 amateur fights, 25 losses, and um, uh, you know, I quit for a while, but I came back. You know, so, not really much to say. Now, how about this camp in Vegas? Um, tell me a little more about it. Take me behind the scenes. How was preparation for you? It was great because coming up here, they, uh, I got adjusted to the, the altitude real quick, you know, so they ran me through, uh, you know, mitts and training to try to get my lungs adjusted to this, and it worked because uh, I didn't get extremely exhausted at all, you know, and he started puffing and puffing probably about the sixth round or seventh. Yeah. So. What are your thoughts on the light heavyweight division? I mean, what, what are you looking at thinking of your future? Um, I think it's pretty open, you know, if I was to choose a fighter that I wanted to fight, it would have been Baby. So, okay, Baby Shumano? Yeah. What are so, your thoughts on him? I mean, uh... Um, he's... I think he's perfect for my style because he just, you know, he's basic too. Just those one, two, and hooks, one, two, so... Okay, man. Thanks a lot. We'll be looking out for you, bro. Thank you. And we appreciate it. To catch more of Marcus Oliver, you can go to ubcboxing.com. And we appreciate the hustle boss. Man. We love Chris Robinson, the hustle boss. No doubt, guys.